right, so we've got some real heavy country. You can see all the heavy kelp hanging off the edge of that there. That's all heavy kelp country. So this is just like a big sort of onshore ledge, I guess you'd call it. Drops down 8.7. Still pretty kelpy sort of stuff. And then off the back here to nine, where it is now, where it starts to peter out. And this sort of stuff here is more your fluffy red sort of weed in the 10 meters, fluffy sandy red sort of weed. You can see how the light, how it's lightened up down here now. That's onto the sand here. See, this is dark. That's your heavy reef. Here it's lightened up onto the sand and you can see all this fluffy red weed sitting on top of the sand. So this is where I'm gonna sit, sort of just on that edge where it drops from eight down to nine. So good morning. It's just me out here and myself today, howl at the moon. I don't know if you can see that. There's a full moon, it's just sort of sinking behind a band of clouds over here. So I'm just out here by myself this morning. I came out yesterday, yesterday was Friday, it was my RDO. Um, it was bloody awful, let's face it. It was 18 knots south south easterlies, a bit of a lumpy swell, it just wasn't very nice. I came out, I tucked in close to the beach, I fished for about two hours, got the grand total of a skippy and one small run, which I'm pretty sure was a pinky, but yeah, I didn't set the world on fire, so you probably won't even see any video from that. But I've come back out today, um, I'm in the same spot again actually, I'm just tucked in on the beach. Not far from shore, maybe, I don't know, 200, 250 metres out. Just on a bit of a bommy, I'll show you that on the sand of what I'm sitting on. I'm just in 9 metres now, sitting on sand and some fluffy weed, but there's a big chunk of reef sort of next to me there. Yesterday after I went fishing, I went into Southside boating and um, fishing. And the boys down there hooked me up with this outfit. Um, what they gave me, this, it's a saltest a saltus rod it's actually quite a heavy quite a heavy sort of base rod but they gave me this new abu max stx reel so these reels are seriously by abu garcia they're seriously really nice reels and they're only 60 bucks so they've been giving me some really nice gear to use lately and um justin said to me try out one of these abu reels and tell me what you think he says feel them for 60 dollars they're, um, you know, really good value. It's actually really strong. I'll show you this. Most of the problems you have with cheap wheels like this is the reel seat gets a bit flexible. But this one is stiff as anything. It's light. It feels smooth for now. The drag feels smooth. But um, what Justin said to me, he goes, I want you to take it out and actually give it a real hammering and see if you can break it. He said, these reels for $60 will sand up to anything and um, be all right. So what he's done is he's gone and totally overkilled. He's put 80 pound braid on it. It's only rated to carry 20, but he's put 80 on it. And he's told me to fish it super heavy, lock my palm on the spool and just really hurt it just to see if we can break it, just to sort of show how good a $60 reel can actually be. So yeah, if you're looking for a new reel, head on into Southside Baiting Fishing, check these out for $60. They look the goods, they feel the goods, so I'm gonna get fishing. Um, I'm gonna pull these tags off. How good is it having a brand new rod? Gonna um, put, I'm gonna whack out a bait on this one. I've already got half a meal out the back there because that one was already rigged up when I got here. So I'm gonna whack a bait on this one, whack it out, barely up as usual, and see if we can't get ourselves a fish as the sun comes up. less than five minutes I think I was just getting some barely in the water I saw this rod getting a couple of little taps it's not huge I pulled a bit of line there to start it's not big I think it is a little snapper for sure hopefully it's just like a nice little pan size one that'll be ideal around 60 centimeters is heaps of fish to feed my family I think that was a tailor. 
That actually looked like a foul hook tailor. That's different. Oh, that's the start anyway. I've only just got here, so pretty happy to be getting runs that early on. That's strange, I often see Taylor out here, anyway. See tail here because I'm not well I'm not really that far from the beach I guess where you'd expect to catch Taylor. But I am sitting in nine meters of water. I'm fishing. I'm winding with my left hand today. I've done myself a bit of a mischief with my wrist. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going for x-rays and um, MRIs later on this week. Oh, it's a big flathead. Well, not a big flathead, but a flathead. Yeah, I'm going for x-rays and MRIs on my wrist this week because I don't know, I think I might have fractured it actually. Not ideal. So there's a flatty. He's not bad. He go, I don't know, he go probably 45 centimetres. Um, I don't know if it's his lucky day or not. Don't know whether I should take him or take the chances I'm going to get something better today. Stop flipping around like an idiot, mate. I'll get this hook out of you. Oh, no, he's bleeding. I think I'm going to take him because he's already bleeding. So, I've just wound this in, and I've got about six inches of lead left, and that's just been clean bitten off at the end there. I never even saw the rod move. Something's just picked that up and just gone snip. So, yeah, maybe that theory that I saw a tailor before, Possibly that was a tailor, or it could be a small shark hanging around. Anyway, I'm gonna to have to re-rig this sucker up again now. Oh yeah, just a little tip. This is why I always have a spare rod ready to go on the rod holder. So while I'm rigging that one up, oh, that was the shittest cast ever. While I'm rigging that one up, I've got this one here ready to go. Oh, hang on, I'm getting some attention over here now. What's going on here? Let's get a few taps. That's all happening here. Thumbs up. I think it's just little pickers. Just pickers. Oh, no. oh. Well, that's the bait going on that one. That's the first touch I've had on this one. Um, the whole idea of this one, like I said, is because Justin wants me to fish this one and um, fish it heavy and hurt it pretty hard. So he's put on, I think it's either an 80 or a 100 pound leader on this one. And I think it's already showing the difference. I've had three or four hits on the other rod that's, that's running a 30 pound leader. And this is the first bit of attention this one's had. Um, in shallow waters, in shore like this, I personally feel lighter leaders are better. I just feel like the heavier leaders are just a, a lot more visible and smart fish will see it and just be a bit more cautious than they would with the lighter leaders. Again, with the lighter leaders, then you have problems of getting snipped off like I just did then, so it's, you know, know, it's all a bit of a fine balance. But anyway, we'll carry on and see what happens. Hopefully I can hook something on this. Hopefully I can hook something on this nice Abu Max. It's a nice looking reel. I'm looking forward to hearing what the drag sounds like when it's screaming. Right, anyway, finally, 
had a bit of a GoPro issue. I was just, oh, just changing the battery in my other GoPro up on the roof there. When this one hooked up, it's got a piece of squid. I think this one might be a pinky. I've got a piece of squid on here. Um, all right, it's time to tighten up on this sucker. Yeah, it's a little pinky. Could probably maybe just go size. So there you go, a little pinky. I had a piece of squid on here. I was just changing the just changing the battery on this GoPro up here, so I missed the take. And then I was went to turn this one on and the bloody Hero 9s, I don't know if anyone's got a Hero 9, but they glitch out, they glitch out quite a bit. I don't know if GoPro's gonna put a um, software fix for it or whatever, but they do tend to glitch quite a bit and um, freeze up. So this one froze up, so I missed most of that. But anyway, that's a nice little pinky. First fish on the Avo Max. Um, I probably could have tightened the drag about another six turns there, but I just wanted to see if I'd get a fish on the deck, which I've done. I'm just gonna measure this guy and see if he's gonna be dinner. I think he might be a bit under. Oh, he's right on the money. He's right on 50, you know what? I've got a flat head, I'm gonna let this guy go because he's probably right on. Um, if he was a little bit over, I would have kept him. And he's gone. Oh well, I'll see if I can get a bigger one. Oh god, I can't get used to this left hand wine business. Is it still on? I think it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's another tailor. I thought I hooked the tailor before this morning and I've been snipped off a couple of times as well. Chopper. He can go back. I've been snipped off a few times this morning. I think there was a bit of a school of them hanging around. There you go. It's a little tailor. He can go back. Uh, that's all for me today. Uh, I've got to go back in, have some breakfast. I've got a bit of stuff to do today. It's only just gone seven o'clock, so that was, you know, a couple of hour little session out here this morning. I'm only, I don't know if you can see. I'm only a couple hundred metres out from the beach. I could have gone out further. The easterly is pretty stiff. It would have been a bit lumpy out further, but it's actually quite pleasant in here. I kind of enjoy these little sessions more than offshore anyway. You never know what's going to turn up. A couple of tailor. I caught a bird. Um, a little pinky. I got that flathead for lunch, which I'll cook up a bit later on. So, you know, overall it's been not a bad session. Didn't exactly set the world on fire. This is the third day in a row I've been out and um, I've got two runs yesterday and the day before. I've got big runs in the morning but just failed to hook up but that's snapper fishing for you. They've got real bony mouths. When you, the hooks, sometimes they go in, other times they just scrape along the jawbone and don't go in. Pretty sure I've spoken about it before. So I caught that one little snapper. He would have gone close to size. Oh, he probably pretty much was size but I felt sorry for him. I was hoping I could have got a bigger one, but it wasn't to be today. So be it. Anyway, if you like our stuff, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time round. Yo!